Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the development of Chinese semiconductor. At the beginning of 2023, Xu Jijun, vice chairman of Huawei, once stated, Huawei has passed the crisis in 2022. The outside world has always held a reserved attitude towards this sentence and did not dare to make too many assumptions. The reason is that the Biden team is trying to upgrade restrictions on Huawei's 4G, Wi-Fi and other fields. On March 24, Xu Jijun, vice chairman of Huawei, gave the answer. His official announcement, in conjunction with domestic high-quality EDA companies, Huawei's design team has successfully broken through the design tools required for processes above 14 nanometers, and EDA software above 14 nanometers has basically achieved domestic production. The comprehensive verification will be completed in 2023. And this may be the precursor to 2023 Huawei's return of the king. Huawei's biggest dilemma at present lies in the supply of chips. It has achieved a breakthrough in EDA software. With SMIC's 14 nanometers process, can Huawei's core shortage problem be solved? What is the situation of Chinese semiconductors? Since the birth of Huawei's 5G, it has been added to the entity list by the United States. It persuaded the Allies to give up cooperation on the grounds of network security, which directly led to the failure of Huawei's efforts in the European market for more than 20 years. European countries unilaterally abandoning cooperation also allowed Nokia and Ericsson to take advantage of it in vain. Fortunately, Huawei's 5G technology is highly self-developed, and it is still unique. It has already secured the world's first throne. Any country that wants to deploy a complete 5G network cannot avoid Huawei's technology patents. The wolf ambition of the United States it didn't work at all and then began to start from the advantages of the supply chain, completely blocking Huawei's chip supply channels. Ren Jingfei was neither humble nor overbearing during the whole process, and he didn't care about the coercion of the United States at all. He started the construction of an independent system for the chip industry. Domestic Plan not long ago, Ren Jingfei announced the results at the Problem Uncovering Spark Award Expert Symposium. In the past three years, Huawei has completed the replacement development of 13.000 plus devices and repeated replacement of 4.000 plus circuit boards. At the same time, it also completed the replacement of 78 software and hardware tools, laying the foundation for the layout of the entire industrial chain technology system. According to statistics, among the Mate 50 models, Huawei's localized parts accounted for more than 60%, replacing all replaceable imported parts. Driven by Huawei, domestic products, have gradually begun to be used by Chinese people. It is recognized that domestic chips, in particular, are widely used. In 2022, a total of 97 billion imported chips will be cut. Although the data is beautiful enough, due to the influence of chip rules, domestic chips are mainly concentrated in the low-end field. After the signing of the tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan and the Netherlands, the acquisition of DUV lithography machines will be prohibited, 
which means that domestic technology cannot achieve breakthroughs. For a long time, the domestic process will be locked at the 14 nanometers level. But this time Huawei's breakthrough in EDA software has given us hope again. Although the most complicated part of the core making process lies in the manufacturing process, the R&D design is the core. The EDA software and instruction set architecture to be used, as important as the foundation of a house, can Huawei's breakthrough bring any changes to Chinese semiconductors? Huawei's core shortage dilemma will be lifted. At present, ARM, the only mobile instruction set architecture in the world, has announced that it will stop authorizing Huawei. At the same time, the three major EDA software manufacturers are also prohibited from providing any technical support to Huawei. Problem finally solved. The open source Risk V ecosystem which has been deeply optimized by Ali and Huawei, has begun to be applied in practice. A number of server chips equipped with RISC-V architecture have been mass-produced and will be radiated to more industries in the future. It is expected that by 2025, they will be able to carry used on mobile. Combining Huawei's 14 nanometers EDA tools with SMIC's 14 nanometers process, the final packaging and testing has always been the strength of Chinese companies. In this way, the entire industrial chain is considered complete. If Huawei's chip stacking process has a breakthrough, maybe it can really solve the problem of high-end chip supply. Obviously, the restoration of the supply of Kirin chips is the top priority of Huawei at present, but all this has become clear after the release of the new mobile phone Imagine 60. It is reported that this mobile phone is equipped with a 710A chip, which uses SMIC made with international 14 nanometers technology. SMIC is also a company in the entity list. It is reasonable to say that it cannot manufacture chips for Huawei without authorization. However, since the signing of the tripartite agreement, the shipment of DUV lithography machines has been restricted, and SMIC has no concern, this also directly contributed to the re-cooperation of the two companies. For Huawei, it is good news that the mid to low end Kirin chips can return. It can be said that except for the high end mobile phone business, all other industries can return to normal. It is obviously a big step closer. What do you think of this? Thank you for watching.